Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to do a little experiment. I'm going to compare this awesome tool. This tool is called a tool-in-one. They have it right now at Michael's I saw for like $17.99. And I'm com going to compare the bristles of that with a toothbrush. This awesome toothbrush I got as one in a set of six for a dollar for them all. So I got it at the dollar store. We'll see what happens. What I want to see is if um, how they compare with using them to get paper out of the dye. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just take this one out. I did this one. Can you see it's all punched and ready? I ran it through my machine. In a previous video I said I do it twice, but really when I say twice I mean I run it through one way and back and that counts as one. So really I kind of run it through four times. So I ran through this four times and now let's just see what happens when I just pull it out without doing anything else to it. So actually that comes out pretty darn good. So there's some stuck in there. I think it helps when you run it through so many times. And then you can just poke. You can use this tool to poke it out or you can do, use like a um, toothpick, right? That'll work great. So. Let's see how it works to get it out. The little particles out of your dye. Now that's kind of helped a little bit. Oops. Uh, not a great, not a great tool for that. A little banging. But you can take your, let's see if this, you can take your toothpick also and be, um, pushing these pieces out. If you get too much paper in there when you're doing your dye, um, it'll impact how it... Oh, I gotta sneeze. Excuse me. It's gonna impact how it um, cuts your your paper out. So you don't want you don't want a lot of buildup in there. So these dyes do take a little bit of attention, but they're worth it. Okay. So once I get all of these things out or a fair amount. I'm going to run it through again and we'll try it with the toothbrush. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line that up, put it on my paper, turn it over so that cutting part is facing up. Okay, I ran it through those four times like I said. And this is how this works. So this this little brush rolls. So as I move it, it's rolling across the, the surface and into the little areas. And you can see it really does a really does a nice job. It's lifting up before I even remove it. And that's what that looks like. Okay, one more time. This next time I'm using the toothbrush. This last time, to be honest. I meant to use the toothbrush, but I just got distracted with my, my other tool and I began using it. So let's go again. Okay, just right. Kind of like uh, the three bears, mama bear, papa bear, and baby bear. Okay, I ran through four times just like in the previous one. Now I'm just going to take my toothbrush and actually I wonder if I gently did this, if just the pressure moving on the little ridges will cause the movement too. Now I want to be careful to not disturb and get caught in the paper itself. Okay, I'm going to turn it over and work it from this angle. Now I don't think any of the bristles are really getting in those holes, I don't know. Maybe none of the other ones were either. Okay, let's see what happens when I open this one up now. Really, it worked just as well as this. Every single one of them is out. So, oh, there's a few little stragglers here, so maybe that was on the, the lower level. But there were stragglers in the other one, right? So I would say you could actually use a toothbrush instead of this um, for helping to get your piece out. Let's see how it works with. And if it's a soft toothbrush, I was one of my concerns was that if you use it, it might 
lift up your paper that you've cut and um, cause it to rip. But it is a soft toothbrush and it's not seeming to do any of that. And I don't feel it catching anywhere. So, but your best thing is to just gently pull up the paper to get anything out like that. Okay, well there you go. You could get a toothbrush at your dollar store and you can have it do awesome things just like this tool. All right, hope you have a great day. Bye.